Look at all the people waiting to get into Mama Mini's Pizzeria. Vito, where are all your customers? Over at Mama Mini's. Where else? <laughs> no, Signor Mini. Vito is not selling his restaurant to you. This is a tree that grows. Wait for it. Lasagna! Lasagna? Oh, I love trees. We now return you to Eddie Gourmand's World of Food. Oh, hurry. Go right to the part about the tree that grows lasagna. I'm coming to you live from a small city in Italy. I'm not allowed what? to tell you exactly where in Italy I am, but it's wonderful here. And the most wonderful thing is this. This is it. The lasagna tree! A tree that actually grows lasagna. It's the only one in the whole world. How soon can we go there? We have a video of them harvesting the crop. Here, you'll see the lasagna harvest. They have to pick them early in the morning when the buds are fully open. We'll head straight oh. to the airport. <laughs> I do need to pack. I don't wear clothes. Sometimes the harvester will decide that a lasagna is not quite ripe yet. So he'll leave it on the tree for a few more days. The rats let us down, Louis. Ah, oh, that's the trouble with rats. They're all rats. They even act like rats. Nope, you can't trust rats. Now, squirrels and... Shut up, Louie! I'm shutting up! We have to shut this place down, and Mr. Mama Mini will be so... Hey... No pizzeria could stay in business long without its delivery truck. You think you know how to sabotage it? <laughs> sure thing, Goober. Good, get to work. And when you're done, I'll order us a couple pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best lasagna I've ever tasted anywhere. It's even better than my previous favorite, the lasagna back home at Vito's Pizzeria. Better than mine? Better than mine? No one's <sighs> lasagna is better than yours, Vito. Uh, but answer the phone. It could be a customer. A customer? It has been so long since I had one, I almost forgot. Vito's Pizzeria, Vito at your service. Hello? How fast can you make five pizzas? <laughs> How fast can I make five pizzas? <laughs> that fast? Where do I deliver them? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Vito will be there faster than you can say, hold the anchovies! <laughs> You want to keep Vito company on a ride, little pussy gatto? Why not? I love the smell of warm mozzarella in the afternoon. Come on, I want to see the crash for myself. Hmm. Lasagna growing on the trees. The most ridiculous thing I ever heard of. But you saw it. They showed it on TV. And no one on TV ever lies about anything. Unless they're selling something or running for something. Odie, you believe in the lasagna tree, don't you? <laughs> but it was on TV. If they said it on TV, it must be true. I must somehow get to Italy. I must see for myself this incredible lasagna tree. Lasagna tree. That's the best thing I ever heard in my life. <sighs> ah! Oh no! My brakes do not work! His brakes do not work. That's the worst thing I ever heard in my... <laughs> His brakes don't work! So, we wreck his truck, and then if he does get any customers, he can't deliver! So he goes out of business, and Mama Meanie moves into shut the- Shut up, Lloyd! I'm shutting up! They're just ahead up there. What should I do? <laughs> Try to hit something soft and cheap. Oh, I hope we're not going to do the bit they do in every crummy car chase scene where the car hits a fruit vendor's push cart. Me. Oh, no. It's 
one of those crummy car chase scenes where the car hits the fruit vendor's push cart. I was afraid this was one of those crummy car chase scenes where the car hits the fruit vendor's push cart. I knew this was one of those crummy car chase scenes where the car hits the fruit vendor's push cart. 51. Garfield, do something that will help this situation. Huh? I will. Well, if we do crash, you don't want all this pizza to go to waste, do you? Ah! I think there was something to perhaps stop us from crashing. Oh, yeah. Um, that would be a good idea, I suppose. Well, this is an emergency, so how about using a thing called an emergency brake? <laughs> oh, yes, uh, that is one way to do it. Holy, look out! Uh, I can't see! I got fruit cocktail all over the windshield! Good work. I like the new artificial cheese substitute you're using. We're making the breadsticks out of styrofoam, and for the spaghetti, I'm just boiling twine. <laughs> like I said, I had fruit cocktail all over my window, and there were bananas flying everywhere. Every which way. That's up. Oh. For the 83rd time, no, we are not going to Italy. But the lasagna tree. I must find the lasagna tree. Good night, Garfield. You want to go find the lasagna tree, don't you, Odie? Uh -uh. Oh. He doesn't believe it's real. But you do, Squeak. Well, I'm a mouse. We believe in anything that involves cheese. Uh. Eddie Gourmand's doing live remotes from that place I want to be. I'm talking with the chief lasagna farmer here, Nunzio Caparetti. What is the hardest part of lasagna farming, Nunzio? I would say keeping your ricotta cheese watered. It needs to stay up moist <laughs> if you want to have a lasagna tree. At least Mama Mini didn't fire us. Hey, well, if we don't close down Vito's soon. And now he wants us to find out something about some sort of lasagna tree. Let's see what they're up to. But I must go and try and find the lasagna tree. But it can't be real. And even if it is, you have no idea where it is in Italy. Italy is a big country. If there is a better lasagna than mine, I must what find it and learn the secret. Does the tree grow them sun-dried, Nunzio? Nunzio? The tree somehow creates a tomato sauce, and then I guess the sun dries it. Angelica, that's a Nunzio, my worthless, dishonest cousin Nunzio. Now I have a lead on where to find the lasagna tree. First thing in the morning, you drive me to the airport. I will go there and find the lasagna tree. I am <laughs> sure of it. And I'm sure we'll be right behind. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow, and the day after, and the day after, with more about this amazing plant. Bye for now! <laughs> so, Garfield, if you did go find the lasagna tree, what's the first thing you'd say? The first thing I'd say, hmm... I'm imagining being there, being in front of the lasagna tree... Surrounded by lasagna growing everywhere. Here it can be like paradise, and for more reasons than the view. To visit here at any price will make all of your dreams come true. It 
the land of Italy, women dress so prettily. There is much to fill your heart, fine museums full of art. People greet you on the street, genuinely pleased to meet. Buildings filled with mystery, mankind's home, ancient Rome. It is all history. So if you have time to spend, come to the land where pasta grew. Your trip to Italy, my friend, will make all of your dreams come true. Bella, bella, Italia, bella, bella. So you didn't answer my question. <coughs> huh? If you did come across a lasagna tree, what's the first thing you'd say? First thing I'd say... Hmm... The first thing I'd say would be, uh... Timber! But it looks like that's not gonna happen. Good night, Squeak. Good night, Garfield. Farewell, my love. I will call all right. I will tell you every step of how I find the lasagna tree. Uh, I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, who could it be at this hour of the morning? <laughs> Angelica? Signor Arbuckle, uh, John, I didn't know who else to come to. I am worried Vito may be in great danger. Huh? I need... He needs your help. Odie? Mom? I may not get up today. There's a lasagna tree on this planet, and I'm never going to get to go there. Never going to get to taste the best lasagna in the whole world. Mom. Guys, huh? pack whatever you need to take. We're going to Italy. Yeah. We are? <laughs> All packed. Oh, wait. I may need to do a little chopping. <laughs> 